Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to go over um, a really important concept with bench press, which is going to be how you're placing your feet on the bench press. And um, I'm going to use a few examples of myself, some of one of my athletes, and just a few of other people just to show and illustrate this point and how it can vary. Um, but there's basically three principles that you should have whenever you are bench pressing um, in terms of where your foot position is. Number one, it's going to be you want to be able to get some hip extension where your knees are a little bit lower than your hips. Um, this is going to allow your glutes to stay on, allow you to have a little bit more leg tension overall, and uh, you're going to also be able to drive down um, your upper back into the bench press pad a little bit better. Second is going to be you don't want your knees to come forward when you actually engage your legs. If your knees are coming forward when you're engaging your legs, that means that your um, foot, your feet are a little bit too far out in, in front of you. Um, one thing I didn't mention with this is that I guess there's like sort of like a fourth one is you want to make sure that you have like stability with wherever you're placing your foot. Um, you know, the reason I bring this up is because I'm going to show John Hack. Um, but there's some people who can be able to do, you know, of your toes only on the ground and they'll feel they have, they have stability and their knees don't, don't come forward and they're able to press through like their entire foot and not lose that, um, overall tension in their, in their legs. But most people can't do that. Most people are going to have to have a flat foot because it just offers more stability um, on a bench press. And the last thing is going to be we want to be able to actually apply enough horizontal force into the, to the pad to keep our upper back and neck pinned to the pad behind us. Um, that's going to be really, really important. Um, a really key concept with leg drive in general too, going off of foot pr pr um, pressure and position, is it should not be comfortable. When you are bench pressing, you're setting up for your bench press. It should not be a very comfortable position um, with, with, with your arch, you know? Um, okay, so just going over a few examples. So for myself, I have a little bit more of a wider um, stance with my legs. I have rather long legs. I, I'm really tall and lanky. Um, and this really is the best for me with lots of different things that I've been able to, um, lots of different, you know, positions of my feet I've been experimenting with. But you can really see how my hips are, or sorry, my knees are lower, they're lower than my hips. I'm able to drive through my full foot uh, my knees don't come forward, and my I'm able to have a really, really good big arch and pin my um, traps down and down to the pad. Now, conversely, you know, you're going, typically there's you're going to have two positions. You're going to have one position like this where it's more wider. You're going to have a position like with Trevor, where your feet are a little bit closer to to the to the pad, a little bit more out out in front of you instead of as behind you as I am. Um, you know, a little bit closer to my hips in general. Trevor's uh, feet are further out in front of him, and he has his. Um, his uh, feet in closer to the bar. But you can still see here, Trevor's able to basically have his traps pinned down into the, to the pad. He has stability. He's having some hip extension where his glutes aren't coming up off, off the bench press. And he's able to essentially um, drive through his, his whole and, and entire, entire foot. Um, and his knees also do not come forward when he's gauging his, uh, his, his legs. Um, so that's another thing that you might experiment with. Um, Trevor has good squat leverage and a little bit shorter legs, so this is why this kind of works well for him. Um, Charlie's a little bit more like me, where he has his um, feet a little bit wider, but you can also see how it's slightly wider, though, with his overall foot position, that then, or sorry, a little bit further out than mine is. Mine is a little more behind, closer to my hips. Um, you kind of just, but it's still the same principles of principles apply. You know, he's going to be able to have his... Um, his feet planted, um, his knees don't, don't come forward. A lot of times you actually will see that like, um, Matt Crowan actually made a really good post about this. I want to pull up, um, Matt, if you look at what he, he has a good post about the vertical shin angle or negative shin angle. Um, but, um, he's saying this is essentially, um, you know, you can sort of see how they have different technique. And, and whatnot, um, you know, with, with where they're placing their feet and how their um, legs are a little bit more, more under them and not lifting their heels, which basically that is a negative shin angle. Um, but most of the time you're going to want to have that because you're going to not have your knees come, come forward. Um, you can also see that John Hack does that same thing, uh, but, you know, his toes are up, but he has a rather close um, position. So this is just basically just me, me saying, there's a lot of different ways to do this. You're going to experiment with it, but typically, you know, you do want to have a negative shin angle, like Matt says, in all of these examples, you know, or I guess with exclusion of Trevor, you know, they're having, actually all of them have, sorry, looking at Trevor's, all of them have a negative shin angle where they're not, you only have that negative shin angle in order to have 
your needs not come forward. Um, so hopefully this makes some sense. And like I said on my you know story post here, I I, I had a lot of really good reception with this, which is why I wanted to make, make, make a post. You need know, to follow all these principles based depending on your leg length. This is going to look different, but these are some examples of what it could look like. Um, so hopefully that this is um, helpful. I'll probably include like a demonstration too and another clip of like me finding like my foot foot position or maybe not. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have guys have any questions, ask down um, below.